Hi, everybody. Welcome to um, my blog or my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Bonnie Breeze coming to you from Takrati, Ghana. I just wanted to share with you the Archbishop Porter Girls Secondary School send-off weekend for the retired headmistress, Louisa Constance Acri. Um, she's such a fine woman. I find it not robbery to do a PowerPoint tribute to her as she ends her leadership legacy in um her school. Um, finding out after that that she, um, being a graduate of Archbishop Porter Girls, all the leadership from this point, from several points uh, years ago, has only been leaders, women, who are graduates of Archbishop Porter Girls and also Catholic. Um, so it's a twofold requirement to begin and then some other things thereafter. She is an English teacher um, who has received her PhD uh, from a school in Ghana, I believe University of Ghana, Legon, and she has had a master's program in education in Sweden. And that was all discussed in her autobiography, the dramatization of her autobiography by two Archbishop girls. Um, they, they really did a wonderful job. As you can see here, here's the program and I am on it. I was added to it. So it, it was just wonderful. Let me say something about that opening prayer. That teacher who did the opening prayer I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he brought the spirit into the place. From that point forward, it was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening had by me, and I believe a lot of other people as well. Here is a picture of um, the young ladies, who uh, one who talked about her um, resume. And then the other photo is a scene from the play that was done that was written by um, Mama Louisa, as they so fondly referred to her the entire night. One thing about the girls at Archbishop Theater, they support one another, no matter if the performance is good, bad, or indifferent, they are very positive about what is done before them and on stage. So this was just wonderful to see that the culture is brought into each and every program. Right here is the school still photographer. She takes all the pictures for the school. Um, and she's, she's just all that. I call her sister now. I don't even know her name, but I call her sister because she's at every event and she's just really good.
as you can see over there in the corner, the drummer. And this was all Friday night. Friday night, literary night. That's her mistress, Mama Louisa. She got up and gave them accolades. That's the new headmistress sitting next to her, headmistress Mary Arma Brocco. That young girl was so good, and she has such a wonderful smile on her face. It was just a wonderful day. Um, so here we go. We had to add America into the program, so here we go. Set you. Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells jumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened? by my soulful surprise? Does my haughtiness offend you? Do you take it for hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like air, I rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past that's rooted in pain, I rise. I am a black ocean, leaping and wide, welling and swelling. I bear in the tide, leaving behind nights of terror and fear. I rise into a daybreak. That's wondrously clear, I rise, bringing the gifts that the ancestors gave. I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise. All right now.
So here is a couple scenes from the play and just the fond look of headmistress as she looks on to all the actors, the actresses, I should say, because they were all Archbishop Porter girls. Now, we've come to Saturday now. This was the big deal, and it was a long program, but the weather, the weather was wonderful. Because it did not rain, and rain was forecasted for the day because we are in the rainy season. The girls danced again. Here I was sitting with the teachers and staff. They were busy talking and conversing on this Saturday morning. Now she got a car, y'all. She got a vehicle that was given to her by the PTA. They said it was not robbery to give a woman who had taken care of their children for her time there, that it was not robbery to purchase her a brand new four-wheel drive vehicle. She will have a driver. So after this, we ate and we had a good time eating. And then they allowed me to be the part of the popping the champagne. Now, for folks who really know me, you know I don't drink. So I was nervous about that, but here I was given a non-alcoholic bottle, um, ironically, uh, a non-alcoholic bottle to pop. And the lady next to me showed me, shake it up, shake it up. I said, if you shake it, it's terrible. She said, you shake it up for the show because it pops nicely. It shows nicely for pictures and things like that. So I had shaken the bottle up. Took me forever to get that bottle open, but I finally did, and it popped, and it spewed, the, the liquid spewed all over the place. But a good time was had by all, and um, Headmistress Agri is finished her leadership legacy at Archbishop Porter Girls. However, I look forward to working with the new headmistress, Headmistress Mary Arma Bracco, um, because she is a, going to be a great leader as well. Um, so all my American friends, colleagues, followers, just let's get ready, get ready, get ready as we continue to support the girls of Archbishop Porter Secondary School. And also we're going to add into the mix the boys and few girls of Koforudia Secondary Technical School. So look forward to hearing more as we go um, through Ghana to support young people as they get a secondary education, which their parents pay for, as a matter of fact, because secondary education is not a quote-unquote right in Ghana. It is a privilege because the parents must pay for their children to receive an education. So thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Peace.